Hello, hello, my friend. Amner Hunter here from AmnerHunter.com. Happy to spend some time with you in another video. This time around, we are going to be checking out a couple of um, uh, plugins. One of them, it's completely free, and the other, it's a brand new plugin that currently has uh, an introductory price brand new plugin released today. All right. Uh, as usual, I will leave you the applicable links uh, for you to download and try out these plugins. And also, I'm going to leave you timestamps in case that you are watching this live stream after uh, it ended. And uh, yeah, before we begin with the content, um, let me go through the plugins I am going to be covering up today. First, we have a very cool polyphonic synthesizer. This one is free by... Uh, this company return z this plugin is called tone z all right and also we're going to be checking out the brand new release by bogren digital this is the irdx core uh, technology dynamics technology for improving your uh, guitar sounds your am sims uh, sound all right uh, currently has a price of 39 bucks here at uh, bogren digital there is a fully featured 14-day uh, free trial available here at the website, all right? Before we begin with the content, let me invite you quickly, quickly to my website where you can grab some additional freebies, such as some free PDF guides and eBooks for music producers and guitar players, also some free tools, such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs, among other utilities, and finally, don't forget to check out this channel or my blog which i am updating almost every day with content like this let me know if you are here uh on the live stream i am always happy to read your comments um about these cool tools uh, john is here hello darlings uh sound healer is here in the house as well hello my friends acoustic is here as well uh these guys never uh miss an opportunity to be on on the live stream <laughs> pretty cool i appreciate you guys um so yeah uh let's go to my uh, thw's window here to show you let's start with the free uh synthesizer plugin first right this is that tone z and it's a polyphonic synthesizer and also available for Linux. Uh, most of the plugins, as you know, are available for Windows and Mac, but this one it's available also for Linux. All right. So let's uh, break down the screen here, the features of this plugin, the sections. Okay. So first of all, we have four oscillators here. You can choose the different oscillators, right? Uh, on each oscillator, we have different uh, voices, volume, detune, width, semi, and octave. And, of course, you can uh, pan and also change the phase here. And noise. Uh, yeah, you can change the waveform, of course. Sine, wave, saw, triangle, square, right? Uh, fist, bus, croon, plane. Many, many different um, uh, shapes here for the waveform okay and also uh, so the same applies to the oscillator two three and an oscillator four all right also we have four envelopes for each one of the oscillators as well right and on each one of the envelopes we have amp pitch morph filter and low frequency oscillation all right and you can uh, assign these uh, different uh, algorithms to each one of the oscillators or the four of them here. Uh, you have also the ADSR, of course, very important to manipulate the dynamics of the waveform, right? Attack, decay, sustain, and release the amount. And yeah, also we have a couple of filters. Here we have the two filters, and we can choose here uh, low pass, high pass, band pass. Um, and uh, also you can assign it to each one of the oscillators or the four of them okay also low frequency oscillators we have two of them the same you can apply it to the four uh, oscillators uh, or each one or one of them or 
uh, two or three of them, all right? You have here amp, pitch, morph, filter for each one of the low frequency oscillators, again, rate, amount, and here also the shape of the of the waveform, sine, sine wave, triangle, square, saw, saw down, saw up, random, and stuff like that, okay? Also, uh, we have several effects down here. We have distortion here. You can enable it like that. Clipping, uh, saturator, bit crusher, fold over, a character, volume, dry and wet functionality for each one of the effects. We have EQ as well. Lows, mids and highs. Uh, volume, dry and wet. Also, we have chorus. We have four, uh, three types of or three modes of chorus. Classic, super and hyper. Okay, we have rate, depth, delay, width, offset. We have also delay with uh, BPM synchronization. Okay, you can <clears throat> set the tempo here and rhythmic uh, damping feedback width. Uh, you can also change the order uh, of the delay going to the reverb or vice versa, right? Next, we have the reverb here, uh, different types of reverbs, uh, size, pre-delay, damping, pitch modulation width. Also, uh, filters, high pass and low pass for the reverb, side chain, volume and dry wet, and also we have compressor. We have compression here, attack release ratio, low knee, high knee, gain and dry wet. Pretty cool. Very, very complete uh, synthesizer and with a lot of uh, cool, already great sounding presets. So let's check out the sounds. This is the sound by default. Okay, and let's go through some of the different sounds that we have here. This is a universal volume. Yeah, some uh, monophonic sounds, but also very cool polyphonic sounds as well let's go here for more um, uh, yeah like huge sounds okay I don't know if it's because of the live stream, but it's, I have some glitches. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you're hearing them as well. Okay. As far as I know, this plugin uh, doesn't have a lot of um, CPU power uh, doesn't require a lot of cpu power let's check it out here i have it here on synth uh 3.3 um maybe i need to turn off other no I, I don't have a lot of other plugins turned on so effects risers lead sounds Yeah, I don't know why it's... Uh... Some leads, also we have uh, pads. Beautiful pads. Blocks. Yeah.
Yeah, my favorites are the pets. Alright, so that's the synthesizer by um, Return Z. This is the Tone Z. Alright, uh, let's move on with the next plugin in this list, the, the paid one. Okay, uh, introductory price of 39 bucks. This is the new uh, plugin by Bogren Digital, just released today. This is the IRDX uh, Core plugin, and this plugin it's included now uh, within all of their AMP Sims, the um, the MLC uh, 100, also the Rev C, and also the BDH uh, series of amplifiers, one knob amplifiers. And this uh, technology was developed by Jens Bogren. Um, <clears throat> the owner of uh, Bogren Digital, right? So <clears throat> the purpose of uh, IRDX technology is to add movement, to add imperfections, to add um, life to um, static impulse responses, right? The well, cool thing is that we get to access to great signal chains that are condensed into a single file wave file in the form of an impulse response right but <clears throat> the bad thing about that is that uh, impulse responses are static they are static snapshots uh, sonic snapshots of uh, signal chains uh, microphone positions cabinets speakers stuff like that right so uh, what Jens Bogren did with this is that uh, a technology that adds the imperfections that you would find when micro mi uh, micing a real cabinet, right? Because the air, the the sound is moving through the uh, through the air, and it, it's not it's not perfect. It it comes with uh, yeah imperfections with movement sometimes with uh, uh, natural distortion um, due to the movement of the uh, waves, the sound through the air, reaching the microphone. <coughs> <coughs> and this plugin was made to simulate that and to um, give you just a, a lift. It's like the sherry on top for the guitar sound, right? Where you add a final thing just to make the guitar sound more alive and more realistic and also when you're playing uh like in real time uh you're gonna feel also uh a, a better response um of the from like the from the guitar to to the to what's coming out of the speakers right and uh yeah that's the purpose uh like uh simulating as if you were always uh mic micing a real cabinet with this technology right so all you need to do is calibrate here and it will um calibrate the input okay it will analyze it and it will give you a yeah once it's calibrated it will give you a result and you're good to go that's pretty much it you have here a a knob that you can increase up to 150 percent by default it's at 100 percent and uh, you are um, basically increasing the effect of this uh, imperfections, movement, dynamics, and uh, a distortion that it the plugin adds to to the the guitar sound or um, bass sound as well. <coughs> um, also, you have a normal and intense control here. So yeah, this is the normal use and intense. Of course, it's a more intense uh, effect of, of of this IRDX technology to the sound, all right? So this is not an impulse response loader, okay? So uh, the order of this plugin in the signal chain, this goes after the amplifier uh, with um, like a cabinet or impulse response loader. So it, first, for instance, you have the amp head plugin then the uh, like the cabinet or impulse response loader and after that goes this plugin right so yeah it's always after that in the signal chain 
and so yeah that's pretty much uh i was analyzing the plugin here uh, on this um eq curve analyzer so if you turn on the plugin let's put it to normal here i'm gonna set it to zero i'm gonna turn it on it has a natural uh like low pass or high cut here that will smoothen the highs okay and uh, if we start to increase this it will start to add a bit of movement as you see here it's moving a bit and it also has a bump here in the highs okay very very uh, it will give you a very pleasant um, top end on the sound now it's calibrating it doesn't take much to calibrate and if we set it to intense right you're gonna see more movement here in the in the signal okay like that uh this is this is just in terms of the type of eq curve that it might add but you will hear also <clears throat> something extra like um yeah like uh maybe a bit of life a bit of movement uh i don't know like uh probably the a bit of distortion as well added to the sound um but in in a very natural way it's not like adding uh saturation with a plugin or something like that it's a different kind of feel um a different kind of response uh <clears throat> that will play back <clears throat> sorry so let's uh now listen in to this plugin in action action <clears throat> I'm gonna turn it off here and I'm gonna turn off also these uh, EQ curve analyzers as well. So I have a guitar sound here. I'm gonna start from scratch here. Let's. Let's recalibrate it. I'm gonna turn it on. Yeah, it's very, very quick to calibrate. Okay, so now we have an effect, but uh, very, very minimal. Before. after it's a bit stale right static without it so let's make it more intense there you can hear it more obvious before Okay, and let's uh, analyze also another guitar sound, different guitar sound, but also distorted uh, guitar sound. All right, so we have this. So let's uh, calibrate it here, calibrate the input. Okay, let's turn it off. Let's set it to intense. Okay. 
yeah it also adds that uh breakup right break uh here you can notice more that breakup sound uh when when you are micing a real uh cabinet and speaker right and this is the natural response of the speaker uh with the real amplifier so yeah pretty cool stuff by by Bogren digital Set it to intense but low. Yeah, that's the IRDX Core brand new plugin released by Bogren Digital. Uh, please let me know what you think of this plugin. I am always happy to read your comments um, and uh, opinions. All right. Uh, let's see. We have some people here on the live stream. Um, more people. Uh, Jedediah here. Yo, yo, what's up, Abner? Any plans to play another live guitar stream soon? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, it was very, very fun. But since that, I was rehearsing some Linkin Park songs. Um, the live stream was taken down and blocked <laughs> by the the algorithm. Uh, but yeah, it would be very cool. Uh, maybe when I am um, when I create more songs uh, of mine, uh, that would be a, a very fun thing to do, like a live stream concert <laughs> stuff like that of the new songs that I want to work on. Uh, well, thanks for asking, man. Uh, hey, um, the man cheers from the UK. Hello, uh, root screen. Hello from Mexico, my friend Kevin Wayne. Hey, I'm there. Did you get my email on the vocal king? Oh, uh, I will. I, I haven't checked the, uh, that email, Kevin. Um, uh, I probably have it there. I'm gonna respond to you as soon as possible. Uh, what EQ are you using? Um, in in this video or in this video i'm not using any eq um but my favorite eq for free it's probably the tdr nova uh, dynamic eq by tokyo dawn records and um my favorite paid eq would be fab filter pro q3 of course and sonable sonable that the new one the smart eq4 uh, that's probably my favorite at the moment uh, shut you, Dumba. Okay, super mercy. Um, yeah, in French. Uh, I don't speak spr French, but uh, yeah, merci. <laughs> that would be thanks, right? So there you go, my friend. Let me know what you think of these cool tools that I reviewed today. Before we leave, let me invite you one last time to my website where you can grab some additional freebies, such as some free PDF guides and eBooks for music producers and guitar players. Also some free tools, such as some collections of guitar impulses, some collections of drum sample packs, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out this channel or my blog, which I am updating almost every day with content like this. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. I will see you soon in the next video. All right. Take care, you guys. Um, it was a pleasure. Bye bye.